back, everybody. You're watching Local on 2, and it's Pride Month, so combine your love of shopping local and supporting your community. We are here with Novelette Booksellers, the only LGBTQ plus owned bookstore in town. And best of all, we love our summer reading around here. So DZ is here to talk all about Novelette and what books should be on your list this summer. So first, Tell us about the bookstore. It looks so yeah. fun and how oh, it kind of came to be. Yeah, um, so we're located over in East Nashville on Chapel Ave. I always tell people it's a couple blocks north of Ugly Mugs, Jenny's Ice Cream, <laughs> that nice little hub. Um, we will have been open a year tomorrow. It's yes. our one year anniversary tomorrow, uh, which I cannot believe time has truly flown by. Um, and yeah, the way we got started was actually right in the beginning of COVID when the country was shutting down. Uh, my co-owner, Jordan Trombley, uh, texted me and asked me if I would want to open a bookstore with her. And this was kind of a long time coming because we met while I was waiting tables at the restaurant that her partner was the executive chef at. Um, she was reading a book while she was there to visit him and we started chatting about it. We struck up a friendship. Um, and we always would talk about books with each other. So it kind of just was this, how did we not think of this before <laughs> type of thing. And, you know, with COVID, we had a couple of years to really dream up the plan. And then we opened last year and it's just been amazing. I love that you took the leap of faith into yeah. opening a bookstore too. Yeah. <laughs> not just any store, a bookstore, because unfortunately a lot of bookstores are going away mm. and you're, you guys are like, no, we're here and we're sticking around. In oh, fact, yeah. speaking of the year anniversary, what are you guys gonna be doing? Cause I know you have yeah. a celebration. Yeah, so on Sunday the 18th, um, our, we're open our normal hours, which is, we're open every day, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, but on Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., we'll be having like a little market party out in the courtyard. So we've got local vendors. Um, we have like the hideout salon is doing some hair braiding and tinseling. Very curious Fun. to see the tinseling. We've got a local artist doing some uh, quick portraits of people. We're going to have some food. There'll be some music. It'll just be a nice little party to celebrate her birthday, basically. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Okay, so we have to go through some of your favorite books that yeah. you've recently come across mm -hmm. that you do have in the store that you think people should pick up. So the first one is called Chain Gang All Stars. Yes. Tell us uh, briefly about this one. Okay, so this book, all of these books that I chose were basically kind of pride reading and summer reading. So I wanted to do a mix of some more intense books and some lighter books. This one definitely is, I think, the most intense one on the list. Uh, this one is a little bit of a dystopian sci-fi novel um, about a group called the Chain Gang All-Stars that is a group that perform, uh, performs inside of America's private prison system oh, wow. um, for the ultimate prize, which is their freedom. So they are prisoners battling to the death for freedom. So it's very intense, wow. lots of battles, um, but it is kind of um, a commentary on mass incarceration in America and the prison system and capitalism um, and just action packed. Wow. And definitely a very um, heart pounding read for summer. <laughs> Man, that sounds like it's got a little bit of everything. Oh, okay, yeah. switching things up to Heartstopper. <laughs> yes, it looks very, a little very lighter. different. <laughs> yeah, this one's a lot lighter. So, um, Heartstopper is a graphic novel series by Alice Oseman, who I just adore everything she does. She's so great with representation, and this. Um, graphic novel series in particular follows Charlie, who is a boy in high school who has recently come out and he meets another boy, Nick, who he assumes is straight and thinks there's no way this guy would be interested in me, but he gets a crush on him. And Nick starts feeling some feelings for Charlie, is confused, always thought he liked girls. So he's kind of going through um, figuring out himself and his sexuality. Mm. And it's really just about two boys falling in love. And there's a little bit of heavier stuff in there too. There's some mental health. Uh, there are little mentions of bullying, but um, mm. mostly it, there's just so much great representation. It's a lovely, yeah. wholesome story. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay, we have time for one more. Okay. Natural Beauty, I believe yeah. is what it's called. Okay, so this one is about a young musician who is at, at a conservatory studying piano. They have to throw their entire future aside because their parents get in a debilitating accident, so they want to take care of their parents. Um, and unfortunately, as many people in Nashville know, there is not a ton of music in performing and 
uh, a ton of money in performing in music. Um, so she begins working at this high-end beauty and wellness store in New York City called Holistic, which has lots of procedures and products that are just supposed to be remarkable. And while she is testing all their creams and products and really getting into the culture of the store, something more sinister is going on underneath. Ooh. So this is a nice juicy summer read too. Ooh, that, now that's a tease. Yeah. Okay, I love it. I love, all of them sound great. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah, for being thank here. Thank you for including everybody in all of your work and make sure everybody to visit them online. And of course in store, novelettebooksellers.com. Check out their pop-up party Sunday, June 18th. And 